that, that, that's what I want, want to ask you. I mean, I, I've read somewhere that actually in the Talmud, uh, it says, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that God had taken covenants from the Jewish people not to go to Palestine until the Messiah comes. If that is true, then the Talmud cannot be the justification for Zionism. <laughs> 100%. A Zionism, again, which many people who are looking to vilify Jewish people, either because of what they've seen, the actions of Zionism, so they're looking where could they come from, and Zionists themselves are trying to, what they try to is use, abuse, they take the words of the Torah, or, um, and the, the five books of Moses, and especially the Talmud, and they pick out the statements, out of context and totally not what it's supposed to be about, and they, in order to legitimize the Torah, we say they, they hijacked the Star of David the, and, and, and name Israel and all the statements mm -hmm. of the Talmud. When the, as, ironically, like you're saying, that it's clear that it was, it was actually a prophecy of King Solomon. It's not only from the Talmud, it was a prophecy explained in the Talmud, which the Talmud does, in that we, are, we were put on the oath by God after we were sent out into exile around 2,000 years ago that we should not, three oaths, we should not go back in mass to the land of Israel. As individuals, we were allowed to live there if it was with the permission of the governing uh, the, in power, the, uh, which uh, the Turkish, uh, would, uh, if, or the ones before there, or that uh, British mandate, they have to, well, today it should be in with the permission of the Palestinian people. But basically, the three oaths are not to go back in mass, mm -hmm. not to rebel against any nation, we have to be loyal in every mm -hmm. country we're living in, and not to try to bring the end of exile in any manner whatsoever. So Zionism flies in the face of all that, but one more thing, Zionism flies in the face of every concept of the Torah, like I said, the Torah is divided into that how you should treat your fellow human being. You're not allowed to kill, you're not allowed to steal, you're not allowed to oppress. They, if they, they, in every facet of Zionism, they, they uh, contradict the godliness of what the Torah is, yet they use the identity of the Torah, they wave the Torah as a deed to the land. So it was a so